All right, so for this problem, it says y equals negative x squared plus 6x minus 5. So by graphing it into vertex form, we have to put it into vertex form, which is y equals a times x minus h. Yes? Do you need me to give something to somebody? OK. x minus h squared plus k. Right? So we've got to put it into this format. So to be able to put it into this format, um, what we're going to do is we're going to have to create a perfect square. So by creating a perfect square, what I'm going to simply do is going to be what we say is completing the square. So remember, ladies and gentlemen, to complete the square, we cannot have anything as a except for 1. So here I have a negative 1. So the first thing I'm going to do is subtract out a negative 1. I'm sorry. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to want to complete the square out of my first two terms. So let's just put parentheses around those first two terms. All right. Then what we can do is realize that, oh, now we need to factor out a negative 1. So let's factor out the negative 1 out of the first two terms. Okay. Now what we can do is we can complete a square. So we factor out a negative 1, so therefore my a is going to be negative 1. All right. So now we need to complete the square. So what we're going to do, again, is just going to take your b divided by 2 and square it. So negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. Negative 3 squared is positive 9. So y equals negative 1 x squared minus 6x plus 9 minus 9 minus 5. All right? But again, ladies and gentlemen, here's where it comes a mistake that everybody comes up with. Remember, I added a 9, right? So I can add a 9 and subtract a 9 on the same side. But since I added a 9, and that 9 is being multiplied by a negative 1, you have to multiply your negative 9 times a negative 1. You guys just have to remember that step. So now let's rewrite this as a perfect square. Dimitri, you asked me how I got that one, right? And I said the shortcut. You can always just do x, um, x plus b divided by 2. So b is negative 6 divided by 2, which is a negative 3, right? So you can just write this as y equals negative 1, x minus 3 squared, plus 9 minus 4 is going to equal uh, positive 4. Does that make sense? Everything I did so far? OK. So now, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do is let's do, because we need to graph this, right? So we need to determine the vertex. Remember, the vertex is h comma k, 3 comma 4. All right? And then let's determine, is it going to open up or down? Well, it's going to open down, right, um, since my a is less than 0. OK. Again, what I like to do is I like to graph the parent graph when graphing transformations. So I'm going to graph the parent graph. My parent graph has a vertex at 0, 0. It contains a point 1, 1 and negative 1, 1. Contains a point negative 2, 4 and 2, comma 4. All right. However, that's what we call the parent graph. That's with no transformations. Now, what you guys can see is I have a transformation. I have a new vertex, right? My vertex is now at 1, 2, 3, 4. All right? That's my new vertex. Now I know that the graph opens down, right? So the graph is going to open down. So now what we need to do is find our next two points. Well, guys, look at the relationship. The relationship between the points is over 1, up 1, over 2, up 4. Is there any change? Is there any vertical stretch or compression on this problem? No? No. So therefore, your relationship's going to still going to be the same. I'm going to go over 1, down 1, over 1, down 1, over 2, down 4, over 2, down 4. Four from your vertex. OK, and then our blue is going to be our final answer. Anybody have any questions on that? No? Good? Awesome. Yes? Sure. <laughs> 